the life and reign of the fifth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, Hatshepsut, is something everyone will be fascinated by. She is a controversial figure in ancient Egyptian history, known for breaking with tradition and ruling as a female pharaoh, as well as for her ambitious building projects and military expeditions. Today on Crunch History, we dive right into the life and legacy of Hatshepsut, as well as some controversial and weird facts that will shed light on her true character. Hatshepsut was born around 1508 BCE, the daughter of Thutmose I and his primary wife Ahmisu. She had two brothers, Wadjimutso and Amunmus, who both died young, leaving her as the only surviving royal child. When her father died, Hatshepsut's half-brother, Thutmose II, succeeded him to the throne. Thutmose II was married to Hatshepsut, who became his great royal wife and bore him a daughter, Neferu. Thutmose II died after only 15 years on the throne, leaving Hatshepsut as regent for their young son, Thutmose III. It was during her regency that Hatshepsut began to assert her power and claim the title of pharaoh. In her temple at Dier el bahi she commissioned a series of reliefs that depicted her as a male pharaoh, complete with the traditional false beard and kilt. She also wore male clothing and had herself depicted with a ureus, the symbol of royalty. Hatshepsut's decision to take on the trappings of male pharaohship was controversial, but it allowed her to gain more power and authority than she would have had as a female regent. One of Hatshepsut's most ambitious building projects was her mortuary temple at Dier al bahi The temple was designed to rival that of her father's and was built into the cliffs overlooking the Valley of the Kings. The temple was decorated with scenes of Hatshepsut's accomplishments, including her expeditions to Punt, a land on the Red Sea coast that was rich in exotic goods such as frankincense and myrrh. Hatshepsut's expedition to Punt was a major achievement, and she was able to bring back a wealth of goods that were used to enhance the prestige of her reign. Hatshepsut was also a military leader, and she led several successful campaigns in Nubia and Syria. She leaned on Senenmut for all of her initiatives, campaigns, and policies. Van der Mirup notes that he was a man of undistinguished birth who rose to prominence at court. Several statues show him holding Princess Neferu Ra, whose mentor and steward he became before Hatshepsut's accession. All of Hatshepsut's most ambitious projects, including her well-known temple at Dier el bahi were under his supervision. Hatshepsut was known for her strategic thinking and her ability to inspire her troops. One of the most controversial aspects of Hatshepsut's reign was her decision to erase the name of her predecessor, Thutmose III, from many monuments and inscriptions. This was likely a way for Hatshepsut to legitimize her own rule and assert her power over her nephew, who would eventually succeed her as pharaoh. Despite her many accomplishments, Hatshepsut's reign was not without controversy. She was accused of being a usurper and an illegitimate ruler, and there were even attempts to assassinate her. Some historians have suggested that Hatshepsut was a tyrant who ruled with an iron fist, while others argue that she was a wise and effective leader who brought stability to Egypt during a tumultuous time. There are also theories that Hatshepsut may have had a romantic relationship with her chief architect and one of her courtiers, Senenmut, or that she may have been involved in a plot to end the life of her husband, Thutmose II. In recent years, new evidence has emerged that sheds light on Hatshepsut's reign and her legacy. Although Hatshepsut's reign is often celebrated as a period of peace and prosperity in Egyptian history, her legacy has been somewhat complicated by her gender and the circumstances surrounding her ascension to the throne. In addition to her bold decision to rule as pharaoh in a society that was largely patriarchal, there have been some unusual aspects of her reign that have contributed to her somewhat controversial legacy. One of the most intriguing aspects of Hatshepsut's reign is her relationship with Senenmut, one of her most trusted advisors, and a man who is believed by some scholars to have been her lover. While there is no conclusive evidence to support this theory, there are a number of suggestive clues that have led some researchers to speculate that the two were more than just friends. For example, Hatshepsut commissioned a number of statues and monuments depicting herself and Sunanmut together in various poses, leading to some to interpret this as a display of romantic affection. 
Another strange detail of Hatshepsut's reign is the sudden disappearance of her stepson, Thutmose III, who was initially designated as her co-ruler, while the official story is that Thutmose III was sent away to be educated in order to prepare him for his eventual reign. Some historians have suggested that Hatshepsut may have played a role in his disappearance. Some have even gone so far as to suggest that she had him killed in order to secure her own grip on power. Pretty crazy, huh? Despite these controversies, Hatshepsut is widely regarded as one of the most successful and influential pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history. Her reign was marked by a number of notable accomplishments, including the construction of her stunning mortuary temple at Deir al-Dahri, which remains one of the most iconic architectural marvels of the ancient world. She also oversaw a number of important military campaigns, including an expedition we said earlier to the land of Punt, which was rich in precious resources like gold, frankincense, and myrrh. As an archaeologist, it is particularly fascinating to study Hatshepsut's life and legacy because it represents such a unique and complex intersection of politics, religion, and gender dynamics. By examining the physical remains of her reign, including her monuments and inscriptions, we are able to gain a deeper understanding of the power structures and social norms that governed ancient Egyptian society. We can also see how Hatshepsut navigated these complex systems in order to achieve her own goals and leave behind a lasting legacy that has continued to capture the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts for thousands of years. During her reign, Hatshepsut oversaw the construction of numerous public works projects, including the temple at Diyar al-Bahi, which was built in the style of a terraced amphitheater and contained a large statue of the queen. She also commissioned the construction of her mortuary temple, which was located near the Valley of the Kings and featured a series of ramps leading up to a central courtyard. The temple was decorated with reliefs depicting scenes from Hatshepsut's life, including her birth, coronation, and reign as pharaoh. Despite her many accomplishments, Hatshepsut's rule still left everyone debating whether she could be a pharaoh. One of the most intriguing aspects of her reign is the fact that she was often portrayed in masculine clothing, with a false beard and male features. This has led some scholars to speculate that Hatshepsut may have been trying to legitimize her rule by taking on the appearance of a male pharaoh. Others believe that she may have been trying to convey her divine status by adopting the attributes of the god Amun, the so-called creator of the universe. Let's go back to the controversial aspect of Hatshepsut's reign is the theory that she may have been involved in the death of her stepson and heir, Thutmose III. Thutmose III was still a child when Hatshepsut took to the throne, and some historians believe that she may have seen him as a threat to her own power. There is evidence to suggest that Thutmose III was initially groomed to succeed his father, but that Hatshepsut took steps to undermine his claim to the throne. It is unclear whether or not Hatshepsut played a role in Thutmose III's death, but his tomb was not completed until after her own death, suggesting that he may have been a controversial figure during her reign. Despite the controversies surrounding her rule, Hatshepsut is remembered as one of the most accomplished pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Her reign was marked by peace, stability, and prosperity, and she left a lasting legacy that continues to be studied and admired today. As an archaeologist, studying Hatshepsut's life and reign can provide valuable insight into the political and social structures of ancient Egypt, as well as the role of women in ancient societies. In conclusion, Hatshepsut was a remarkable figure in ancient Egypt who defied convention and achieved great success as a pharaoh. Her reign was marked by numerous accomplishments, including the construction of public works projects and the establishment of trade relationships with foreign powers, as well as the role of women in ancient societies. That is all we have for you folks. If you love learning about history on Crunch, feel free to hit that like button and sub. Also, please comment on what you want to learn about next.